from a stalker on a train persistently attempting to gain physical contact and harass another passenger to a tall man dressed in all black standing outside a woman's door every night. Here are some of the creepiest stalkers caught on camera. In a dimly lit alleyway with limited visibility, two streamers found themselves being stalked by an eerie individual capturing the entire incident on camera. Initially, they engaged in a conversation with the person inquiring about a massage place, but the individual displayed a standoffish demeanor and showed no interest in conversing. What's up? How's it going? Do you know where a place is open massage right now? If you turn the camera off, I'll talk to you guys. Uh, 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 about what? About where to find? Eventually, the stalker suggested a conversation, but with the condition that the camera be turned off. The streamer firmly declined this request. However, their refusal did not deter the stalker, as they placed the camera down and attempted to persuade the streamer to abandon it. Despite their refusal, the person holding the camera was left behind while the stalker walked away to engage with someone else. When the streamer eventually moved away from the scene, they returned to discover that their friend had fallen victim to a mugging. <laughs> That shit. What the f Are you anticipating a stronger wave of excitement? Prepare yourself for a more intense and thrilling experience. Sona, a woman, recounts an incident where she was continuously trade by a man while inside Walmart. Regardless of the aisle she ventured into, she would consistently notice his presence lingering nearby. Story time. So this guy was following us around Walmart. Every single time that we saw him, he was staring at us. This wasn't even the amount of times that he watched us in the shampoo aisle. He was in and out of every single aisle. Every single time we looked at the aisle, he was looking at us. And then we ran to the grocery side and he followed us there. We were checking out, he followed us there. When we were checking out, he went into the restroom and he saw that we were still standing there. So he went back in, came back out, was standing right there. And at the end, you could see he's clearly watching. In this unsettling video, a stalker is captured in the act at a Walmart. The TikTok uploader who claims to have been employed in asset protection of Walmart for more than a year reveals that the individual harassed them on a daily basis. For several months now, a YouTuber named Bogue731 has been subjected to unwanted attention from an individual who coincidentally shares the same daily train ride. According to the YouTuber, this person persistently engages in unwelcome behavior such as attempted physical contact and harassment during their train commutes. I don't want to be friends. There's nothing you can do to convince me. But why? Because you make me uncomfortable. Because Despite previous attempts to communicate their discomfort, the individual refuses to heed the message. One day, he reaches a breaking point, shedding his polite demeanor and asserting his boundaries firmly. Sit down and stop following me. Eventually, a superintendent separates the two individuals and guides the YouTuber to a different train car, allowing him to complete his journey in tranquility. Somebody to get off train and somebody to stay on. Why are you following him? I don't know. However, to his dismay, they soon discover that his persistent pursuer remains undeterred and continues to stare directly at him. It appears that no matter what actions or words are employed, this individual shows no inclination to leave the YouTuber alone in the foreseeable future. Combo Hugs A YouTuber becomes aware of a suspicious and incongruous presence of a burly man within his apartment complex. 
Notably, the man is observed peering around the corners and hiding behind bushes while using his phone. He's been sitting there taking pictures with his phone and watching people at the pool since like 10 minutes ago when I was walking my dog. As the YouTuber recounts, whenever someone approaches, the man pretends to be engrossed in his phone, but promptly resumes his photographic actions once they move out of immediate proximity. It is worth mentioning that small children are also seen in the video, highlighting the significance of his decision to contact the police and promptly inform the apartment manager, capturing the incident as crucial evidence. Wreckful, a renowned streamer and YouTuber, finds himself live streaming in the deserted streets of Japan in this video. The late night atmosphere creates an eerie setting. As he continues his stream, he becomes aware of being trailed by an individual wearing Wait, a I'm surgical follow. mask. I'm gonna flip the camera. Gradually, a genuine sense of fear overtakes him, although he manages to restrain his panic. Eventually, he decides to flee, swiftly turning a corner. I'm running. After a while, he halts and confronts the person following him. To his relief, it turns out that the man is actually a fan of his, who intended to playfully startle him. Despite the harmless intention, he remains visibly shaken by the encounter, as he engages in a conversation with his follower and a friend. The incident highlights the unsettling nature of being followed by a stranger, even when there is no actual danger involved. Brace yourself for the impeding release of the final two videos. They are bound to disturb you more than any others, so stay alert. Jamie West, currently on vacation, had a brief encounter earlier in the day with a group of unfamiliar boys at her hotel. Late at night, there is a knock on her door, and to her surprise, she finds the same group of boys waiting outside. With nerves on edge, she and her friends cautiously observe from the other side of the door, deliberating their next course of action. Initially, the interaction may have seemed like harmless flirtation, but the situation takes a disconcerting turn when one of the strangers becomes more audacious. The strangers proceed to record Jamie and her friends through the narrow opening of the door, whispering persuasively for them to come outside. She retreats further into the hotel room and opts not to answer the door. Share your thoughts on whether you would have made the same choice or taken the risk of opening the door for them. Recently, Louise Paxton has been living in a state of intense fear while residing alone at her house. She recounts that every night, an unidentified tall man, clad in black attire, silently positions himself outside her door. Once again, he reappears. Determined to take action, Luis intends to call the police, only to discover that her cell phone has not been charged. Frustrated and overwhelmed, she reaches a breaking point. Equipped with a blade and consumed by terror, Luis unlocks the door, ready to confront her stalker in a final showdown. To her surprise, when she swings the door open, there is nothing but an empty, chilling alleyway, accentuated by the howling wind. Based on the video evidence, it appears that this individual is an exceptionally cunning stalker. This revelation suggests that Luis's troubles may have only just begun. While hoping for her well-being, it's worth noting that she hasn't posted anything to her channel in quite some time.